Okay, all right, guys and girls, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So I'm just doing this quick sort of video here for you. Now, uh, if you can see all these little sort of um, dots on the screen, these are actually what I uh, took tonight in the sky, the night sky and all that. You can see some like much brighter stars, some bigger, brighter stars there. So basically, let's move this forward a little bit. Let's see if we can move this forward. So we can get these a little tiny little bit bigger, guys and girls and all that. And on, let's have a look. Try and get these up a bit bigger up here. And as you can see, as I'm moving slightly, actually, see if we can move this down a little bit. There we go. And as we can move these ones up here, as you can see, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you can see much more of the night sky. There. And as you can see at the top, some dots here and there and all that. Anyway, so I took this um, tonight. This is the 2nd of April already. Um, so this morning. And yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. I had to edit all through my uh, free editor, which I'm using, um, like for photos. But I was using my telescope, and I actually I didn't even realise I didn't even shoot to actually shoot in the sky for it. Just basically, I got the um, the actual telescope out, and I just literally put it into the one direction. And literally, I was probably hoping for probably for nothing because I was um, thinking I probably wouldn't get anything anyway on there. And then suddenly, I started uh, tweaking around with the editor itself. And yeah, my God, guys and girls, it's got some good stuff here uh, tonight. So I'm actually quite impressed, actually. At 1250 millimeters. And I've got the two times Barlow lens on as well, so that times it up, so that's over um, like nearly 3,000 or 2,500 millimeters. It's uh, 1,250 plus 1,250, so it's times two. So as you can see, really, 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 really good. Um, there's like if I move this here, uh, basically this is where the much of the light is. I had to try and darken it down as much as I could because I didn't want to basic. I wanted some of the, the darkness to come out as well, but I wanted the uh, the light to come in as well. So basically, um, I was trying to keep as much light in there. But if I'd done it too dark, that all the actual stars would start to disappear and all that. So I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to try and keep as much as the uh, and actually I had the street lights on at the time we we're doing this, so I still caught uh, quite a lot of the um, actual stars there. So I'm actually quite uh, impressed with it. Um, this is like sort of my first decent attempt at shooting it, and as you can see, some. Good sort of stars there, so on. let's see if we can, um, like, get uh, even more. And actually, I'll tell you what is, if I go forward like here a set, you'll be able to see as much more detail in it as anything. It's going deeper into the uh, abyss of the night sky itself, so there we go. Um, so it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that, it's beautiful. And as you can see, all the, the nice sort of... The darkness and all the uh, little dots there and that's what you really see really um, at night time is just the dots and stuff I mean you can get uh, quite far with it um, to do planets like uh, I suppose Neptune and all that kind of stuff and Mars and uh, Uranus or Uranus I think is um, the pronunciation um, and also, I'll probably do some of the moon this week as well, try and get quite close with the moon. But as you can see, I've done a fair bit of the actual night sky, so I'm pretty proud. There's actually ones here with three um, stars together at the top. But yeah, anyway, guys and girls, let us know in the comments below what you think. Cheers for watching and stay safe, all, and I'll see you on the next video.